Yo, what is going on YouTube, man? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? So today we're going to be diving into some Judy Collins. I believe this is the first time I've listened to Judy on this channel, although I've heard her name multiple times. I know she was in a relationship with one of the members of Crosby, Stills, Nash Young, I want to say, and I always get them confused who Graham dated and who Stills dated. So um, couldn't say for sure, but I, I know that there were connections with that. So we've got Judy Collins with uh, some of their songs being about Judy Collins. Uh, so we've got Judy Collins right here with Amazing Grace. We're going to go ahead and jump into this one. Check it out. I don't believe she... Well, I don't know who created Amazing Grace, the song. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and check this one out. Judy Collins, we'll learn more about that after uh, the reaction. But let's go ahead and hear it, man. Our first reaction. So as this one, before it starts, let me know down in the comments other songs from Judy Collins you guys think I need to check out. Man, I like I said, we're starting off. So we're going with something familiar. This is what I picked out today. Uh, but let me know what you want me to check out from her, okay? Let's go ahead and dive in. Here we go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. soaring with these lyrics or these vocals.
Judy Collins right here, man. She could sing, and I think this was a very great example of what she's made of to be able to sing Amazing Grace. Man, I've heard Amazing Grace um, quite a bit throughout my life, and uh, it's, it's a song I definitely really like. And I, I feel like whether you are religious or not, um, I think it's a beautiful song, and I think it's a beautiful message. And it's one that you should be able to enjoy without putting, you know, um, I don't know. I find it weird, man. I find religion, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I find a lot of that stuff weird is when people who don't necessarily believe or have the faith that someone else does feels like instead of just letting others be, they really need to tear it down and they, they need to put effort and energy into uh, putting it down. It's so weird to me. It's so weird. It's a weird concept. Um, but I see it all the time. I literally see it all the time. Um, with this one, like, even if you're not religious, I think you should be able to enjoy the music. You should be able to enjoy the song. You should be able to enjoy uh, the effort it takes to actually sing this well and the message, right? Um, I I don't know, man. I guess I'm just at a point where I'm trying to find good messages. And, and this is a good message, man. It's a great one. And Judy Collins definitely went out and performed on this one man great job judy collins this is my first time hearing her voice what a beautiful voice her, her vocals were soaring man very good very good stuff so i'm excited to see really what was judy producing out there on her own in her own solo career to be able to nail this one judy what are you made of girl let me see man y'all guys let me know down in the comment sections what we got to be diving into from judy okay so right here, just diving into Amazing Grace, like I said, I didn't know the history of Amazing Grace. I don't know how far back we go with that, but Amazing Grace right here is a Christian hymn published in 19, or sorry, 1779, written in 70, 1772, all right, guys, by Mr. John Newton. Uh, that's at least the information that we have right here, 1772. Man, so far, I think the oldest song, pal on the channel okay the oldest hymn at least here we go we've got judy collins right here coming out with the album named after this song amazing grace okay and that song is the first one on her album uh this was released in 1985 so it seems like maybe sometime after i believe judy collins was big in i want to say the 60s or maybe 70s yeah maybe maybe 70s so we're gonna dive into that i'm gonna try to see what i can find out right there so this is coming out in 85 all right and on this one for personnel you have judy collins doing vocals guitar keyboards backing vocals and arrangements man so she does quite a bit all right learning a little bit about judy collins right here we have judith i think it's judith marjorie collins um she is 84 years old still going to present day started in 1959 so right before 60s actually 1959 she started man um so we've got her born in seattle washington but coming out of uh musically i think denver colorado it looks like she does folk americana country rock and roll and pop man she's a singer songwriter and musician okay so really amazing stuff right here looking through here it looks like she's got some other hits man uh, she did a version of both sides now as well which i did from uh, Joni mitchell she does someday soon chelsea morning uh also turn 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 Ooh, i loved the birds version of turn 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 it looks like she has a version of her own man so i definitely enjoy listening to her sing right here she is the real deal so let me know like i said uh your favorites that i should be checking out man thank you guys for rocking with me today i hope y'all enjoy rocking with me if y'all did please consider becoming a member here on my youtube or patreon for as little as three bucks man it's a great way to give back and support the channel for the content i produce on the daily basis man thank you guys so much don't forget to like subscribe Check out the descriptions if you're interested in making donation requests of your own. All right. Thank you, guys. With that being said, I'm gone. Man, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.